guys. What's up? Welcome to Chiang Mai. Sawadika, everybody. Happy, happy Friday. The sun is out again. Had to wait out the big rain that was going on this morning. Hi, Joe Awkward. No, we're not lost. Thank you, Dom. Yeah. Um, woke up to the rain, was watching the weather forecast. So we'll have to play it by ear um, with rain wise. But as usual, the way the rain works here is if it rains in the morning, we've got a good couple hours in the afternoon where it doesn't rain so good time for us to go to explore and then before the rain comes back in the evening we'll find a place to have something to eat have some good food there's amazing food in this in this city so we will not run out of ideas um do i have a home no no i live out of my backpack <laughs> We do not have a home. Good morning. Good morning to Chiang Mai. What's up, guys? How's everyone today? So yeah, I was just like triple checking my door and also there was a cat like really curious about me. I thought she was trapped, but she isn't. She was just in the office of the hotel because um, it was pouring with rain, so they put all the cats in the office. <laughs> Let the cats, uh, left the cats in there. They've got, like, the hotel I stay at have, like, five cats or something, so. Um, definitely in the right place. <laughs> no, those, those shades I've had for a while. Hey, Detroit, what's up? What's up? What's up, Roundy Hawaii? No, we're not taking moped for many reasons. <laughs> um, when in Chiang Mai, always come for Lila Lila Thai massage. The, the they have many um, Thai massage parlor all over the city, and it goes for a good cause. Ex inmate employment and skill development. So there's a huge women's correctional facility in the outskirts of the city. And uh, a couple of years ago, this woman, Thai, this local lady, invested all of her life savings in creating a rehabilitation educational um, program for uh, to give uh, ex-inmate women a second chance. So, uh, they are highly trained by massage therapist professionals. They are very professional, they're very lovely, and uh, they're, they have a standard. So all across all of their um, parlors around here, um, their spas, they're all, you can always expect a really great massage therapy. And you're supporting a really great cause, which is giving, you know, if supporting employment for ex- uh, ex-inmate women and giving them a second chance and it's my favorite um, Thai massage company and like project uh, in the whole of Thailand my favorite and I was I went there yesterday and the massage therapist she was great she gave me foot reflexology Thai massage ah, so good I have so many kinks in my muscles <laughs> So, as I was saying, there's so many amazing little cafes and shops all around the city. I'm actually just kind of wandering right now. Uh, I don't know if you guys noticed in the waiting room scene, um, the owner of the hotel came to like see me and he was talking and I just wanted to get away from that because he's like, oh, you should go there. I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so I should probably find a place to gather my thoughts hi guys yeah I think it's an amazing cause and honestly they are really really amazing at what they do um, they're really nice it's super professional so I was walking around uh, yesterday 
just kind of reacquainting myself with the city and uh, yeah I think we do need a coffee reacquainting myself with the city I went back to my one of one of a couple of my favorite vegan spots in town and I noticed a couple of the temples that are super important to the city I noticed that a couple of them are under like renovation so hopefully we can still get a chance to see some of them. The one most ancient one, that's up this way actually, is uh, under construction. What's happening? Not much. We're just starting the day. Just in time. Maybe he's watching your streams. <laughs> Maybe. Full trim! Thank you, full trim. Well, this is awkward. Thank you for the four months. Thank you, thank you, Papunka. We are the awkward, the awkward, the awkward. We are the awkward family. We're still the awkward, the awkward, the awkward. We're still the awkward family. This is the one that's under renovation. It's too bad. It's beautiful. One of the only ones that are made of wood because it's a uh, 13th century. Uh, the, the temples here are way older than the ones in Bangkok because this is an older city. It used to be the main, main city many years ago, so these ones are like 700 years old. Thank you, Fulcrum. Thank you for the sub. See another Leela Thai massage? They have bits and they have like uh, spots all over the city. Especially within the old city. We're within the fortitude of the old city right now. Hello, Medusa. How's everyone today? Hello. Hello, hello, everybody. Um, this is another temple we're going walking by. I believe this one's another really amazing one. All of them are amazing, I gotta say. <laughs> this is one of my favorite ones. This is the Wat Chedi Luang. This is the one. Uh, this is the one I think in the back has the 700 year old stupa. <laughs> Steve, what's up? Hello, hello. Let's go grab a coffee first and then we can cross the street and go into the acoustic. Thank you so much. Thank you, acoustic. Happy six months. Hello, T, much love. T and G, great to be a part of the awkwards travel. Thank you so much, Acoustic. Happy six months. Oh my gosh, that's a new that's a new coconut too. You've got your flower added to it now, I think. I think. I think that's it. <laughs> Thank you so much. We are the awkward, the awkward, the awkward. We are the awkward family. We, we're still the awkward, the awkward, the awkward. We're still the awkward family. Ah, uh, thank you. Let's see if I can cross the road. <laughs> I'm gonna jaywalk. <laughs> Thai style. Acoustic. Hello, Lax. How are you today? Yeah. Oh, let's not cross the road. There's a big tour bus going by. That's not good. I want to have a look at both places. I left in such a weird, like, state of mind that I haven't planned on where to start the day, really. Okay, this is ridiculous. Let's, let's use the zebra. But this place looks all right, so let's go figure it, figure out what they offer. I mean, coffee is coffee, right? It's usually just about the vibe. What kind of vibe you want to go for? So, and this is fresh coconut and fresh mango. Already a good start. But I want to 
place to sit. Hi, Shark. Yes, we are in Chiang Mai. Welcome. Mm. A bit touristy, to be fair. Let's go to the other one. Wood, wood. Do you guys remember the last time we were here? It was, uh... Holy shit, I don't even remember. Before the fall of last year. Because we went to Korea and Taiwan last year in the fall. I had a solo trip. Do you remember that? Oh, that one's under renovation. Oh, crap. Ugh, so many things under renovation. girls are like beautiful <laughs> um <laughs> okay let's uh backtrack a little when will G be back G oh it's a dead book hi oh uh G's reuniting with us and joining the streams again uh come TwitchCon so we've got less than a month left uh, adventuring on our own and uh, and then we'll be oh cute it's like a little cafe outside the massage prairie do they have coffee they do have coffee well you know what I'm just gonna go here because this is really cute very Thai the like Thai snacks as well hello Sadika uh, ice kapu ice kapu ka mmm do we want Thai dessert? Ah, oh, uh, nam pao. Nam pao ka. Nam pao. Okay. And we get a bottle of water as well. Okay, great. Little pump? What's that? What are you talking about? <laughs> So, 50 plus how much? 10 so 60 baht. Okay, oh, smells good. Mm. <laughs> ah, oh, it smells so good. It smells so good. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's sit down here, I guess. Buy the Thai massage sign. <laughs> yeah, Lila Thai massage, 100% recommend. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. I do not go to anywhere else while I'm in Chiang Mai. Always go to Lila massage. I'll have to keep this one in mind because there's that little cafe in the, in the front of it, which is always great. Thailand right now. 
so I don't really like to say. Um, but in this this time of year in the north, there is a little bit more rain than usual. Uh, September is uh, kind of rainy time, but honestly, the, like when isn't there a monsoon? Exactly, like it's 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 a, the kind of question that I don't like to answer yes or no to because. When we think of monsoon, we think of large flooding and we can't even step outside. Like, look at, there's no rain happening right now. You know what I mean? So, like, yes, there is rainy season and uh, dry season in Thailand, but uh, it doesn't really make much of a difference if you're traveling. So, honestly, don't be afraid of the rain because it's not like it rains 24-7. Hurricane? Um, there are no hurricanes. The only thing that, for me, when, like, the only time, the only reason I watch the rain, no matter where I am, whether it's Thailand or wherever, is because obviously streaming in the rain is really difficult. But yeah, we have to just kind of remind ourselves that when, I think in the Western world, when you think monsoon season, you think flash floods and everyone's in danger and you can't go outside and it's 24 7 pouring with rain. Now, do you see any rain right now? No. Uh, we're good. We're fine. Thank you. But rain is very romantic, yes. I woke up to the pitter patter and it was very nice. Hey, cute dad. What's up, I black man? But yeah. Hurricanes are fake news. Florida's making a big deal over some small spring. <laughs> oh boy.
come from our race. I am the human. I am a human. I am a human race. <laughs> I am Caucasian. I looked at my tan in the mirror yesterday. Damn, I'm so brown. The last couple of months traveling through Vietnam and Taiwan and stuff it really, really got me suntan. Hey, micro size, what's up, girl? What's up? Alright. Nah, nah, nah. I would pack them. Custom is not. Oh, it's really like. Like, um. Sticky as well. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, wow. oh, that's really great with cake uh, with coffee. Oh, oh my god, it's super floral. It's like. Oh, I like it. It's really chewy. It's like a muffin, but chewy. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I like it. I like it very much. It's not even really sweet. It's more about the texture. It goes really well with coffee. And it's really, like, there is, it's like there's flour infusion in it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Wow, 30 months. That's insane. Thank you so, so much. We are the awkward, the awkward, the awkward. We are the awkward. We're still the awkward, the awkward, the awkward. We're still the awkward. Maybe Jake, thank you so much. 30 months. Oh, gee. Hi, Danito. We're trying a Thai dessert. What was it called? What did we say it was called? Tiong Fu? Tiong Fu. It's really good. Mm. It's like a little drop of jasmine flower inside. It's like a has a jasmine flower like aroma taste. I don't know if that makes sense. First time tuning in. Welcome, Deco. Welcome to Thailand. So what do you have? Fulcrum, this is the mystery destination. We are currently in mystery destination. We're headed back to the or back to Thailand. And the reason it was a mystery destination was because, well, I never told you guys that there was gonna be another stop after Korea. I always just told you like, okay, we've got like a couple of weeks in September to figure out where we'll go, if we stay in Korea, if we go back to Taiwan or whatever. But we never, I never like told you that we I planned to come back to Thailand and in fact it was quite a surprise. Um, as you guys know a lot of us, uh, a lot of you probably heard us explaining that we weren't sure when we would be able to come back to Thailand. So it was like super, super like exciting and, and unexpected to have a chance to come back to Thailand. Um, actually Gaspar suggested that I, I make the trip and do a solo trip with you guys through Thailand. It's been eight months since we've been back, uh, since we've been here. Like, we were away for about eight months. That's like the longest time away from Thailand we've ever been for the past five years. Like, it's ridiculous. Hanom, Thai food, Thai food, that's what she said. Thank you, Octopus. Where is your 2020 trip, Fulton? Okay, guys, I'm going to close Stream Elements. It is acting wonky. There's a new uh, new app update, so we're gonna have to check it check it out. Check out how it works. So far, so good. Just chat froze. That just might be a. Ice cappuccinos in Thailand are so good. They're really nice foamy at the top. I know, right? We did so much, but I can't believe it was eight months. Ouchies, we're back under 900. That's what happens when you have a day off. You lose subs and you don't get any. <laughs> Hello, Johnny, how are you today? Orange County? Mm, I've never been. I love this stream so much. It's bringing me good vibes. You're the best. Oh my god, Casey, I'm so glad. Thank you. Oh my god, these are so good. Wow. Mm. 
Yeah, the Dasher, Dasher Steam. We're his back. We're still trying to figure out what happened. But, um, he's okay. He's fine. Actually, we got some, he got, he gave me some good news. Uh, update on his book. He actually didn't realize that he had more pages done than he initially thought. So, um, the book, the book requirement, his publishers require him to make a book with 320 pages. The last 20 pages are, like, not part of the actual book, it's like a tiny little guide at the end of, like, extra suggestions of where to visit in the city, in the country, or, hello, Dasher! Well, to be fair, hi, Dasher! I hope you're well. Uh, to, like, no joke though, speaking of right, like, the more we think about it, the more we we think that's what might have happened. And I'm just, I just told Gaspar last night, like, I am so glad you were there. You saved him. Like, you freaking saved him. Um, anyway. <laughs> Uh, let's not talk about it. We can talk about it on Discord or something later, but let's not talk about it on stream. God. Honestly, these little things are so good. They're really chewy. They're perfect little, like, light, doughy snacks with coffee. Hmm. Devo, nice one. Where are you in Thailand? You can't stay black back. Okay, have a great day. Okay, we're snacking on a Thai, Thai snack dessert called. Hold up. Kuei Fu. Kuei Fu. Not tofu. Kuei Fu. <laughs> Ko Chang. Mm. Enjoy it. Have fun. Gaspar, many years ago. Managed a diving school in Chang. Mm. Raining non stop. Yes, because you are in the middle of the storm. It's coming. So it's, yeah, you guys are like the main target of. Oh, that's a huge bus. Ho Chang is like right in the middle of the, of the storm right now. But it will move away soon, Devo. Just hang in there. Enjoy some rainy day activities. You know, the tropical rainstorms, a lot of people are afraid of the rain when they're on holiday. Like, I understand because it kind of sucks if you're on holiday and you only have like a week or two or three. Um, it's kind of annoying because you can't really do certain things out in the rain and you have a limited time on your trip. But Take a moment to just relax and enjoy it. Like the rain in, the, in these parts of the world, in, in countries like Thailand, like tropical countries, the rain is really lovely and really relaxing. Like go read in a cafe, go get a massage, take a cooking class. Just enjoy. I mean, you're in Kochang, right? <laughs> Really? 
really interested in the history of the historical and religious history of Thailand. Coming to a place like Chiang Mai is really, really great. There's so much history all around you, right behind us, in fact. Um, hi, Xander, see you all. Like, like, uh, you know, th this is one of the older cities um, of Thailand, so all of the older structures and temples date back 700 plus years. And there's so many significant um, places and structures and, and like, uh, buildings and, and monuments and statues and temples that are so important in Thai religion and history. It is quite amazing. Um, each temple is unique and so special and there's a, like an old ancient like relic buried underneath almost all of them. Uh, it's quite fantastic. We're here in the north of Thailand. We arrived yesterday. Um, starting off slow because the rain in the morning just kind of slowed everything down, including myself. So. The Netherlands is boring? I think just because, like, you know, Thailand is so much older, such a much, much more older country than countries in Europe or especially North America, right? Like thousands of years old, many kingdoms and eras and rulers and, and, you know, before, you know, Bangkok in the sense that, like, Bangkok is now the capital city of modern day Thailand, but Bangkok was not always the capital city of Thailand. Before Thailand, this country was known as the Kingdom of Siam, and there were many different eras in the, in the, in the monarchy, the Ayutthaya era, the Rana era, and the capital city kind of moved around depending on which king was ruling the country at the time. Chiang Mai being one of the older parts of the main, uh, major, like, center. So, yeah, back in the 13th and 1400s, this Chiang Mai was the main, like, city of Thailand. And then they slowly, historically, started moving their, like, major city down south, 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 and now it's Bangkok center of the country. Yeah, every country is, is different and unique. Has like it's it's if you look at a country and think back about the history and and what's how old it is and there's there's you know reason why it is the way it is, you know. But I understand that like I think one thing is that as a person like say we're talking about the Netherlands, right? You know, if you are from the Netherlands, for you, every, that is like all normal. It's so normal, you see it every day. And when you see a different country that's so different um, by the way the culture is, the way it looks, then, you know, you're so used to seeing the way the Netherlands is that for you, it's like, oh yeah, that's normal. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's about being familiar with it's familiar, so exactly scout. Thai food is great. We're in the north, so we will have northern Thai food, which is super delicious. Actually, the one thing I wanted to do while we were sitting down is uh, look up. There is the market I wanted to go to. Where is it?
it is open tonight at what time? Six o'clock. So we've got a while. Hi, Miss Murder. We have a biases based on where we grew up. For the most part, here they think citizenship is granted at birth, but that is only true for two countries in the entire world: Canada and the U.S. Wait, what? What? Curry? Goulash? Ooh, delish. Goulash. Yum. So yeah, we have until 6 p.m. Oh, and this one opens at 5. So we could even start there if we wanted. Um, okay, cool, cool, cool. So we could kind of make our way that way. What time is it? Three? Okay. So there's Wat Pham Tao, which is that one, and Wat Chung Yi, which is down there. So Wat Pham Tao seems to be the one that's currently under uh, renovation, which is too bad. That's one of the oldest ones. And the most interesting because it is made with wood, but I guess that's why like it needs a little bit more maintenance than other places. Um, that was one of the ones that were built in the. Uh, I think it's fourteen hundred. The one we're all going to. This one, which is not under renovation, is a very important temple. So I guess it only makes sense to visit it first. It's, it's significant, but it's definitely not my favorite out of all of the temples here. Um, but it is pretty amazing. Just com considering the way it is like built is so special and the significance behind it and how old it is. That one is the one that's 700 years old. Um... Yeah, so it was built in the 1400s, um, and it used to be like the major kind of temple back in the t in the day, where um, like it protected the city basically, and they have special relics hidden underneath. Uh, Happy Chef is a Dutch uh, streaming channel, a uh, Dutch cooking channel here on stream, and his his. Twitch name is Happy Chef. He's really great. He's super, just like it says in his name, he's super happy. He's so like positive, and he's like really great cook, super engaging. Thanks, Howdy. And he is from the Netherlands. Yeah. So he's super cool guy. If you enjoy cooking streams, then you should check it out. So, let's get ready. Yeah, totally too awkward. <laughs> I like it. He's great. Lucky charms time.
of the uh, city. Do you see the square on the map? That's the old like wall of the city. That so we're inside the old city, which it was just like a little square.
water part is the out is on the outside of the gate. So we're like right in the middle. So we're nowhere near the moat yet, but we will be seen. Welcome to Chiang Mai, north of Thailand. How are you? Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. So good. Thank you. See you again. You too. Bye. Thank you. Do we have everything? Yes. Okay, let's go. Let's go! Now we're all juiced up and ready to go. Oh, it's an tr advertising truck. What are they advertising? Ford. Ford Chiang Mai. <laughs> Okay. We're good. Let's turn down the volume a little bit while we go inside the temple. And in we go. This is a big complex. So this was built in the 15th century, so very old. Hi, Deanne, how are you? Run away, pigeon! Okay. <laughs> Metric! I'm watching your stream for so long. Every time I get more and more convinced that I went to Thailand four years ago, I was there at the right time, but with the wrong company, I want to redo it. You came here on like a tour trip? Tour group? Well, next time you're back, try try going out on your own metric. Then you can, you know, go at your own pace and kind of plan plan uh, plan what you visit. I have to go to the tickets that way. Awkward to an advertising trick like that. <laughs> yes, I know. God, Jesus Christ, dudes. This way. Yes, I know. Thank you. Yes, I, I know. I know. Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> Jesus, relax, dude. Just trying to get to the ticket booth. <laughs> God. <laughs> One person. Yeah. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So the, you know those like traffic guys who are just so like friggin drunk with the tiny power that they have so he kept blowing his whistle at me like go get your ticket yes I know I'm, I'm, I'm walking there thank you so what open cat well that's very different just the whole fact that there's some guy like sheep herding you to the ni nicely newly made ticket booth with this like gate here that, that was not there the last time uh, we visited. Hi, Federico. So, here we are. <laughs> so we are in the, one of the old, old temples. Beautiful.
Here is one of the male only temples, actually. Um, so uh, we can't go in. Usually Gaspar goes and brings you guys inside. All of you ladies in chat get exclusive like access, but unfortunately, uh, <laughs> unfortunately, I'm I'm here just on my own now today. So too bad. Sorry, guys. Male only temple, um, or at least this one part is men only because uh, inside there is a special, very, very old, powerful relic buried within the this um, temple. And it's not a Thai, Thai belief or a Buddhist belief. It's actually an ancient, like, an ancient... Um, Uh, Lana be belief, so kind of more, even more ancient belief. So not a Thai belief and not exclusively like Buddhist belief. But some temples here are so ancient and so old that they still follow this very, very, very ancient belief that there are some relics that are um, like so powerful that a women's like. Uh, a woman entering the like energy of that relic will kind of disrupt the power so we're not I'm not allowed in here the sign says so the Chiang Mai city pillar okay so the city pillar is under there it's an old pillar of the city sacred per place worshipped by Thai people from Chiang Mai especially women are not allowed because of menstruation so our like menstrual cycle our moon cycle is so powerful <laughs> oh boy <laughs> anyway um, also men are unable to enter if they are dressed inappropriately so if you come in with a sh pair of shorts and a wife beater as a man <gasps> Thank you so much for the sub, Alfred. Oh boy, thank you for the spam. Sorry, as as you know, I turned down the volume. Thank you, Alfred, Alfred, Alfred. We are the awkward, the awkward, the awkward. We are the awkward family. We welcome. Thank you so much. There's an elephant shrine. <laughs> thank you, Alfred. So yeah, it's it's that's what I mean. Like when I when I really need to emphasize the fact that. This, these beliefs with the men-only temples that you see in Chiang Mai come from a very, very old, ancient, old, before Buddhist time, before Buddhism. It's not a Thai thing. It's old, 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 old belief that they just still uphold to, the, to this day just to kind of respect the ancient traditions that are around those temples. So there's a couple of these super old temples that girls can't enter because we follow the moon cycle <laughs> uh, but that's okay you know I completely respect that monks can't be touched by women not entirely true cyborg in Thai culture women don't touch monks but it's a little bit more complicated than that monks are able to touch women as long as it doesn't stir up any lustful thoughts to be super careful they've then generalized that idea of like we just monks just don't touch women just so that they avoid any sort of temptation of the opposite sex and as a westerner Thai people just kind of ended up simplifying the that like explanation saying just don't touch monks so it's a little bit more complicated than that though For example, what's a moon cycle? Menstruation, periods. You know how women bleed every month? Do I need to be more specific? <laughs> yeah. It's just a different power that disrupts whatever they believe. It holds power in that relic, I guess. <laughs> So that's the ancient sh pillar buried inside that little shrine. But anyway, it's not even that the most spectacular part of this uh, 
What is this magic power we get every month? Oh, trust me, you don't want to know. <laughs> Here, this is a better ins. Ah, oh. see the, they really, really, really like watered down the explanation of the, in, on this like pl plaque. It's a tourist sign, so they didn't really go into the detail of the like history and tradition of why women aren't able to enter those kind of um, shrines. But it's a, it's not as like patriarchal and like misogynistic as as it sounds <laughs> so it's okay god suddenly it's so 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 hot the sun like beating down on me <laughs> so it's because we hold magical powerful powers obviously we have to respect women <laughs> The Lula. So anyway, enough. So the main temple is in there at 5 p.m. The monks come and do their uh, daily reflection uh, prayer and chant. Uh, we're still too early to hear it, but I'm sure we'll hear it somewhere else. It's okay, Snooky. I'm sure they were just trying to be, do the best thing, but let's move on. No hard feelings, yeah? No hard feelings, guys. I just feel that, like, certain things are a little bit of a touchy subject, but if, like, let's, let's not get offended and let's move on. All is good. All is good. So here is the ancient structure in the middle so this used to be this is like the center of the old town of the old city basically here it's a square shape like the city and the I think what makes this very um, Momo thank you so much for the resub guess who thank you so much happy 28 months Thank you guys, you'll have to spam any notifications because I did turn it down. We are in a sacred place, so thank you so much. We are the awkward, the awkward, the awkward, we are the awkward family. We're still the awkward, the awkward, the awkward, we're still the awkward family. Thank you, Momo, 28 months. Thank you so much. No female only temples, no. As we all know, in ancient, like in ancient life, in old life, uh, usually the spiritual and uh, um, intellectual guides were all male. Um, <laughs> just go to black clothes in the sun. It's all I own. But yeah, I'm dying. So, anyways, uh, <laughs> so yeah, what I think is really interesting about this is that the actual like architecture and the structure of that is really really different really really different than the other things that you would see um, the stairs leading up to that stupa uh, <laughs> and I don't know if you can notice like one half of it is broken off a big there was this large earthquake 700 years ago that kind of knocked over a part of the the top there crazy right and um, yeah so I guess the idea is you go up the stairs and on each like it's a square so north south east west or the four elements I guess it's my guess and in front of all the steps you've got the, the that god the snake god that is always guarding the steps to those kind of these temples and things Yeah, it was built here, yes. And 
I find it very representative of the old city because it is a square with this like moat like kind of dip protecting the city with the walls. I wonder like I, it can't be a coincidence. Warum tragen in schwarze Kleidung? Oh my god, Rania. I can't. I'm trying to. Something about me wearing black again. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> this part is. You can actually tell in some, some areas, like on some sections, it, it's a little bit more like broken and like. The, the weather and whatever is like, whoa, I just scared that pigeon. <gasps> see, you can't even see the faces of the snake here. Hmm. This one is special because it has that shrine Buddha in the front and a big, big Buddha at the top there. This one's quite decorated with like rhinestones and things. <laughs> and then big one up there. Do you see it? The, it's the one sitting under the tree. Yeah. So this one is 700 years old, Detroit. This, this, this one is 700 years old. It was built in the 1400s. I don't know exactly the time, the exact date. But yeah, it's it's one of the older ones. So um, the one great thing about being and visiting Chiang Mai, especially if you're interested in the spiritual history of Thailand, because actually the history and religion is very connected. Um, you'll see so many ruins here. There's over a hundred temples and hundred ruins around the city. No, you can't go up there. No, it's off limits because it is a ruin. It's a uh, you know, it's protected and dangerous to climb, I guess, because things can, like, fall. And I guess they're trying their best to preserve it as much as possible. Like, to the point where this here, like, the steps are not even steps anymore. They've completely eroded. Look. Hi, Nation, what's up? See, look. Steps are just... Another big Buddha there. And each face, if you look closely, each face is slightly different in detail. So not each face of the square is the same exact. And then you've got these tiny stupa shrines. So if you want to pray to significant stupa, like this one's the snake, year of the snake. Um, year of the dragon. So, like, you... So I'm year of the horse, right? So I would go and pray to my the horse one. Where is the horse one anyway? Rabbit. What are you guys? This is 700 years old, Eggles. Yes. This is the year of the tiger. What year are you guys in chat? Let me know. We got the goat, or ox, sorry, and the, what is this, badger thing? Oh no, it's a rat, it just looks like a badger. <laughs> okay, so we got the rat, where's the horse? Rat, ox, remember this place? Yeah. With tour, you will definitely come here as well. Okay, tiger, rabbit, oh, the sky is changing. Mm. Snake, the great snake and the normal snake. Oh my God, what is that in English sound? <laughs> rabbit, oh, okay, uh, we, the rabbit's there. <laughs> and you're the dog? Okay, I have to see the dog too. There's little kitty monks around here too. That's the one thing that this complex is really big. Chiang Mai is a great, like, you will see monks everywhere because they study here. And there's a library, educational uh, Buddhist library in that complex. So you'll see monks walking around here all the time. Um... Okay, so we've got a dog. Oh, here's the horse. Okay. Here. 
course. So that's my stupa. Sure. <laughs> no, Jay, the Mortal Kombat movie is in Ayutthaya, which is another ancient city. Um, it's one hour drive north of Bangkok, so we're way, way more north. You're a rooster, like Gaspar. Oh shit. A storm is brewing. I feel it. I feel it in my bone. Year of the goat. Here's the year of the monkey. Pig and everything. We haven't seen it. The rooster's coming up. There's the monkey. Year of the monkey. Oh shit. We might get stuck. Do you hear that? Oh! Oh, yeah, the heavens are warning us. Here's the rooster. Quick, guys, make your wishes. <laughs> we have to seek shelter. Year of the dog. Here's the doggy. It's so cute. That's a cute stupa. Wow. Okay, and the pig is last. Well, before we hide, I want to show you this side of the stu of the stupa because this side. Oh. What time is it? It's not time for rain. We had at least one more hour. God damn it. Yeah, can you feel the tension of the storm coming? I sure do. This side is cool because they have elephants guarding at the top there, which I like. I'm not sure if they were meant to go all the way around and the rest just broke off and these are the ones that remain, or if they were just meant to be on this side. I don't know. I have no clue. But either way, I like. <laughs> well, the breeze is nice, but oh, 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 no, tree, don't tell me that, please. Don't tell me. No, you're lying. The storm is not coming. Me. <laughs> oh, we just left indoors for drinks. I was ready to go explore. I thought that's it. The rain is gone. We've got a couple of hours. Hi, Sunny Xiao. Oh. <sighs> that's great, Cyborg. Sun is good for you. Hello, Danny. All good. How are you? Someone praying inside, so I'm gonna go over to the other shrine here. So these shrines um, are uh, to pay respect to very famous monks of Chiang Mai. I'm on holiday for one month. That not exactly, but okay. <laughs> wow, party boat, be careful. <laughs> so here's the monk. It's a wax figure, don't worry you guys. <laughs> now this this place is in honor of that monk. He's very famous, very popular monk.
Yes, Mixer, I'm a full-time traveler and we are a full-time travel channel. This is my gig, this is what I do. So uh, I think what Jay means is that we're back in Thailand for a month and for me Thailand is like a home, like home away from home Thailand is a very significant country to me. So yeah, we're back home just enjoying being here. I'm traveling Thailand for about a month with you guys. We're gonna see as much as we can. And then um, a couple of days in Singapore. And then I'm flying out to TwitchCon San Diego where my other half, my fiance, who's also a post of this channel, uh, will join us because he's currently in Portugal doing some other work, other travel work. Um, so we'll, we'll be back with him at TwitchCon. Do I get tired? What do you mean by that? Tired how? Like tired of being on the road all the time? Nope. Nope, that's my lifestyle, and uh, this is my work, like, my passion. You know, I'm, I'm one of the lucky ones that can make my passion into a living. And yeah, it is tiring, but so would anything else be, I guess, if you did full-time. And it's, it's always just a matter of, like, seeing, like, you know, I'm traveling, my passion is travel, and I'm, like, lucky enough that I can make a living out of my passion so like just like everything else in life you know I can get tired but I will never get bored of constantly being on the world and it can be exhausting but it's just a matter of making sure you know how to balance balance it out and like I don't know what you do for for a living Birch but I'm sure you get exhausted too sometimes right She's in her twi 20s, why would she be tired? <laughs> Where are my favorite places to go? Thailand will forever be in my heart. Vietnam is a great place that we love um, to travel and stream as well. Uh, God, that, that question is so difficult. You know, there's places that I want to visit personally and then there's places that are really good for stream. You know, the two different things. Hi Wolf Guy, hi Hawked, how are you? Yeah, I think, um, I think we're okay. If you look at the sky, I think we'll be okay. We might be fine. So, let's move on. Hey, Swag! And the reason that, I mean, we're, we're, TwitchCon for us is like a business trip, I guess. Like, it's for us to, our main goal, especially now that we are a full-time channel, we're, we're pretty big considering you know we're, we're a pretty sizable channel and this is this is our full-time thing so you know we treat twitchcon as a time to network with companies and 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 uh, um, you know see people that we don't normally see other streamers connect with brands like live view and unlimited IRL and maybe make some new connections and it's a networking opportunity it's also the time of year where Twitch becomes a solid, malleable thing. You know, Twitch is always online. You can't really touch it, see it. But TwitchCon is a time for people to come together and we're physically in the same place as other people who know and understand what we do. And, and it's really important to show your face. You know, and Gaspar and I, we take, take that seriously. You know, we, we want to grow our brand. We want to, so we have to show our face. You know, it's just the right thing to do. <gasps> Thank you so much, Hawked. Hawk through 250 bidis. Oh my, hope to meet you at TwitchCon. Keep up the awesome work. You're an inspirational streamer. Thank you so much, Hawked. Very excited to see you at TwitchCon. Thank you so much. Happy to see you here today. It's Hawked. Thank you. Hi, Taylor. Thank you so much. And let's not forget, it is a great time to see if some of you awkwards are coming to TwitchCon. You know how it is. Don't be shy. Come up to us. Say hi. We still need to figure out if we will have time to do a meetup or not. Not sure yet. 
Ooh, I'm hearing the clouds though. I'm hearing the rolling clouds. Hey, cops for life. All good, Taylor. Yes, all good. Chiang Mai. How can you not be happy in a place like Chiang Mai? Okay. <laughs> I want to see if I can show you guys my favorite temple. Like, why wait, right? Let's just go for it. Let me show it to you right now. Right now. Wolf Guy. Wolf Guy at 500 degrees. Oh my, unicorns in chat. Unicorns in chat. Cop one cat. This is Wolf Guy bit dance. This is Wolf Guy. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so, so much. Danke. <laughs> and this murder. <laughs> Hi, Derp Tracy. Okay, let me just quickly look it up on the map. Where is my favorite, favorite temple? Is it this one? Let me double check. <gasps> I think that's it, yes. Okay. You guys probably think I'm a lame, like, hippie nerd or whatever. But I will, I want to show you the most beautiful place ever. They call me weird. You might call me a weird hippie lover. Thailand hippie lover, whatever. <laughs> but I have to show you that temple. It's, no, that one is later, Cyborg. That's better at night. We won't, probably won't make it to that one here. But I'm telling you guys. I'm not a religious person, but I do appreciate spirituality and I always want to open my mind. We are the awkward, the awkward, the awkward. We are the awkward family. We're still the awkward, the awkward, the awkward. We're still the awkward family. Don't fit, don't, don't step on it. I'm scared. It's the best food fetish streamer. Chat just a second. Okay, leave it. God. Okay. Can you stop eating the USB cable? I just bought it today. Okay. Okay, we're back, guys. <laughs> yes, I recovered from the bug spray. <laughs> what was that? Yeah, my back's getting wet. <laughs> We might have an image there. <laughs> oh, I know. Even the pigeon behind you is like, what the fuck are you doing? You don't eat that woman. See? It's not bad. Oh. <laughs> okay. Hey, the sweetness is coming now. <laughs> I, I, I don't really, I can't imagine what you're, but no, it's my cock. It's the fruit. M-A-K-O-K. M-A-K-O-K. My cock. Where's your sister? Where's your sister? 
sister? Where's your sister? There's three of them. They, they're like sisters and they all like, hi! Oh, you're so happy! You're so happy! Come on! Come on! We are the Awkwards, the Awkwards, the Awkwards. We are the Awkwards family. We're still the Awkwards, the Awkwards, the Awkwards. We're still the Awkwards family. Don't fit, don't, don't step on it. I'm scared. It's the best food fetish streamer. Ah! Chat just a second. Okay, leave it. God. Okay. Can you stop eating the USB cable? I just bought it today. Okay. Okay, we're back, guys. <laughs> yes, I recovered from the bug spray. <laughs> what was that? Yeah, my back's getting wet. <laughs> Okay, we should be back now. Sorry guys, my bad. That was completely my fault. 100% a Tulula mistake. My bad. That's, you can blame T. Hashtag blame T. I did not turn on the power bank for the camera, so the camera battery doesn't last on it like for more than two hours on its own without a charge. So where were we? Unseen! So good to see you. Thank you for gifting us up to Miss Murder. I'm pretty sure I was singing into a black screen, so let's sing for Miss Murder again. <laughs> we are the awkward, the awkward, the awkward. We are the awkward family. We're still the awkward, the awkward, the awkward. We're still the awkward family. Thanks, guys. Clearly, the rain has um, given me some derp. So, anyway. <laughs> Sorry about that. Camera battery is on charge now, so we're good. Just gonna have to keep an eye on it. Um, make sure that it doesn't lose its charge. Thank you, Unseen. Hello. Hello, Phoenix. Okay, so where were we? I'm gonna go into the main temple here in Wat uh, Chedi Luan, and then I will show you my most favorite, 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 favorite temple in all of Chiang Mai. Yes, dog, yes. That's correct, so let's go. Absolutely, Jack. We've got two more days left of August, and then guess what, guys? September, 50% off all tier one subs, and uh, when you cheer bits, you get an extra 10%. Yeah, that's exciting. So, what are you waiting for, guys? September will be a great time of the month to support your favorite channels. <coughs> Except Aquas Travel. We are the awkward, the awkward, the awkward. We are the awkward family. Thank 
you so very much. Please write your first name, last name on the envelope with your date of birth. Put a donation in the envelope and place into a cup. Oh my goodness. That's a succulent symbol. But what do we get in the envelope? I'm gonna take that envelope. <laughs> succulent with all the different like characters inside. Cool. Zodiac here. Okay. Tulula. Oh, surname. Awkward. <laughs> Day, date, month. What is it today? The 30th of August. Uh, 2019. My zodiac animal is the horse. Uh, year 1990. Wait. Day, date, month. Oh, not present day. So, so silly. Day, date, month. Okay, I messed up. I was born on a Monday. Fifth. Of November. My bad. <laughs> In 1990. Time of birth. I don't remember. Like 1 a.m. or something. I don't remember. Address. Earth. Okay. Oops. Thank you so much for the three months. Thank you, thank you. We are the awkward, the awkward, the awkward. We are the awkward family. We're still the awkward, the awkward, the awkward. We're still the awkward family. Thank you so much. Okay, now I'm going to donate. Do I have enough co in coin for you? I think so. I'm going to donate 20 back. Because um, that's like the usual, I think. Yeah. mistake as I did guys so first name last name and the birth dates doesn't matter what day you're giving it <laughs> so I guess it's for good luck for your birthday or something like that I don't know put some bits in the envelope are we putting some of your bits in the envelope guys <laughs> Zodiac banners are hanging around. Big, big Buddha. Many different Buddha statues all around and monk statues on the front. Wow. <laughs> Name of your pet and last four digits of your social insurance number, please. <laughs> it's 4 p.m. It's 
Say hi to the gods for me. Thank you, Grok Linux. Amazing. Thank you so much. Let's uh, let's do a spiritual bin dance. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Grok Linux bin dance. Thank you. Grok Linux bin dance. Grok Linux bin dance. Thank you. Oh, sorry. I just smacked you in the face. of the Buddha here, the one with one hand up, is uh, this pose represent, uh, this is the one you would pray to or have in your family home. It helps you uh, create positive relationship with your family, um, help you prevent like uh, uh, tension between family members. So you'll see a lot of uh, homes and shrines in like homes with that particular pose of Buddha at the shrine. So, if you need to quickly... <gasps> Unseen five subs, temple gift subs. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so, 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 so much, Unseen, for the gifted subs. Thank you so much, Unseen, for those five blessed gift subs. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm going to stand here by the, by the dragon. Thank you so, so, so much. We are the awkward, the awkward, the awkward. We are the awkward family. We are the awkward, the awkward, the awkward. We are the awkward family. Where am I? We are the awkward, the awkward, the awkward. There they are. We are the awkward. Oh, and the rain is coming. We are the awkward, the awkward, the awkward. We are the awkward family. Thank you so much for the five gifted subs. Unseen redeemed five temple subs, including corgis today. <gasps> Really? Even for the corgis today? Wow! <gasps> Thank you so much! Oh, Auntie! <laughs> Thank you so much! Thank you! Thank you! You see that elephant statue? You see how the tusks are uh, gold? Because that's where people rub the elephant tusks, so it kind of rubs off the green. So that's where it's like shiny the most. Because you... Uh, rub his, the tusk for good luck. So, now we've got good luck. <laughs> Thank you, Unseen. Unseen is just love. All the love. <laughs> Thank you. Tomato soup for all. <laughs> that man, don't be creepy. Rub the elephant tusk. <laughs> Thanks, Grouse. Um, that way. Exit. It's not really the pink, it's like a copper, right? So the copper's green, and then when you like rub it off the layer, it like has that bronzy color. You'll see it in a lot of statues that have like 
Did I say... Tusk, what did I say? Trunk? Uh, uh, exit? Oh, the rain's coming. Exit this way, okay. Dan, ah, I was wondering if you'd make it. Hello, yes! I was thinking of you, I was like, where is Dan? Because here is one of the male-only temples. The one you guys were teasing me about saying that there's like flying puppies in there and everything. So that's this one. Um, so yeah, we were just explaining that. Oh God, it's raining. <laughs> Shoot. To find a place to. Yes, just in time for male only temple dance. <laughs> trunks up is the same. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When the trunk is up, when you see those like jade elephant figurines and carving, the trunk up is a sign of good luck, yes. You're right, you're right. You see the flying puppies in the distance? <laughs> so yeah, Dan, you, you made it. I was wondering if you'd come. So that's one of the main only temples, male only temples. The one where you guys were like, oh yeah, flying puppies in there and epic like ceiling paintings. And I, I was sitting outside while you were and Gaspar were in there. Okay, so it's raining. Good to see you, Dan. How's everything? Okay, well, let's look up the map, see, oh gosh, where we can go. Uh, hmm. Where's this? Yeah. Is it open still? It doesn't say. Oh yeah, close at 9 p.m. Oh boy, where is T? He should be here for this. You mean Gaspar, Dan? I know. Oh, we are literally we're proper stuck now. Um, okay. Gee, yeah. <laughs> yeah, glad it's the weekend. I get it. Do you have a busy week? I wasn't really planning on eating because the market opens. But if it's raining, it's not really a good time for market, so. Hmm. No, I didn't like that place. Let's find the other elephant. Which what are you talking about, Mad B? The White Temple? Because yes, I have. Just a lack of sleep. Do you have time this weekend to catch up on sleep? I know, I'm sorry, wolf guy. My only temple with flying puppies. That's stupid rain as well. There are many cats around here, uh, yes, totally. Dogs and cats, Alfred. There's a couple of cats where I'm staying. Uh, hmm. Flying kitties. <laughs> cats are too, like, whole, too, like, too good for flying, you know what I mean? They expect us to be us to carry them in the like yeah the white temple is great we've showed you guys um, the white temple on stream in the past yeah back in the temple I guess I guess so It's really soothing though, I've got to say, like, the chimes in the wind and the rain, really nice. <gasps> Rani Roo! Thank you so much! 
Thank you so much for your donation. Temple donation. Oh my gosh. Renu, thank you so much. It's the first donation of the day, which is super, super special and good luck. Thank you so, 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 so much, couple cat. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, dog, you're sweet. <laughs> Hi, by the way. Oh, thank you so much, Renu. It's kind of stopping. I think it's like just the one cloud going through. Oh, just wait it out for a bit. Yeah, that's true, Dan. We have, I'll tell you how many days left until we see G. We've got. Got my countdown app. Ooh. 26 days. Yeah. Hey, Zerodium. Correct. We are back in time. That's not even the worst of the day. <laughs> We're just stuck in the rain, so I'm trying to figure out what to do. Because I don't want to go visit my favorite temple with you guys under the rain. And it's, it's the kind of rain that doesn't seem like it will stop anytime soon. So we're going to have to have like a super early lunch dinner thing. I don't know. <sighs> hmm. Okay. There's this place that looks good. Cute little garden, some like fresh muffins and pie and vegetarian and vegan things. Um, could check it out. I don't think I've actually visited that one before, so we could try. Looks like it's um, staff. Thank you so much for the four months. It's quiet because we're in the temple. Thank you so much, Steph, for the four months. Hype, hype, hype. Thank you so much, you guys. We are the awkward, the awkward, the awkward. We are the awkward family. We're still the awkward, the awkward, the awkward. We're still the awkward family. See, what that, just let that rain cloud go away. Thank you, Steph. Thank you, thank you. By the way, hi, Jason, I see you. Okay, um... We're in a friggin' Zen temple. Stop with your f whistle. <laughs> okay, hold up. Let me put you guys down so I don't splash my water everywhere <laughs> like last time. That sucked. Ugh. That guy. Loud beep is ruining my zen. <laughs> Loud whistle ruining my zen. It's single water, it's not my favorite, but whatever. It's drinking water, but I think it's like boiled or um, whatever. Osmosis. <gasps> Sully, oh, unseen gifted another sun. Oh. To Sully the Squid, I love it. Unseen, thank you. Thank you, thank you. We are the awkward, the awkward, the awkward. We are the awkward family. We welcome to the family. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm loving, I'm loving the vibes today. Thank you guys. Uh, oh, we might be in the clear. Ah, sometimes it just pays off to be patient. A bumblebee. Where'd it go? There was a bee hovering around us. Okay. Gaspar's fine. How are you? <laughs> Thanks, Daph, man. Okay. Yes, freedom. Freedom! Okay, let's go to the next temple. Yes! Oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> okay. Back to the original plan. Let's go to my favorite, 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 favorite temple of all time. Hi, Zoom. Okay, where's my favorite, favorite temple? Here it is. Wat Pra Singh. Wat Pra 
seen my most favorite. It literally gives me goosebumps and breaks me into tears because it's just so beautiful. And hopefully within the nine minutes that it takes us to walk there, it won't rain. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna concentrate on getting there first and then I'll explain you the background of that temple. All these uh, uh, mythical gods that are uh, guarding the entrance to this temple. My favorite restaurant in Chiang Mai? Um, I've got a couple. The vegan ones that are like super chill. Thank goodness for no rain. I mean, it's still kind of spitting, but not nothing too crazy. It's hardly, like, hardly there, so. Oh. It's a, a school. School's over. All the kids in purple. Purple is the royal color. Hello, magazine. Saladika. Oh yeah, so it's a school beside the temple, this school here. They have a Thai traditional costume, like, or at least style for their uniform. It's really nice. It's going to get out of here. <gasps> sorry! <laughs> sorry, sorry! Just going to get out of the crowd. Maybe I should cross the road. There's too many people over here. Nemo, you know? Uh, yeah, definitely should should cross the road. Too many kids on that side. Cross the road. Oh, and the kids are blowing the whistle now to cross the road. Scouts, thank you, scouts, for helping us cross the road. <laughs> So overwhelming! Too many schools! <laughs> We're just visiting Twitch school, no big deal. Did you know that Thai Thailand has Twitch school? <laughs> Thank you! Miniaco Miracle! Thank you! I hope you are too. I am because we are in Chiang Mai. Uh, worst case, we could hide under there. It's starting to rain again. Shit! There's a gym. Oh, it's starting to rain again. And there's no real place to like take cover in the temple. Oh, first false alarm, guys! False alarm. Ah, I've crossed the road before. It starts raining really hard. My Zen is gone because. Oh, we're out of the temple. I'm trying to like navigate traffic. <laughs> ah, and the rain. Poor live view. Okay, okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, my backpack. It's still, we're we're not in the like. Is that behind me? Oh, that's a. It's an ancient ruin. It's a stupa. You'll see many of those around the city. Chiang Mai is very, very religious, has many of these old stupa and all the old brick like walls and stu Whoa, it's time to go, it's time to go. They're ancient um, uh, structure, ancient structure. <gasps> okay, we have to go to that cafe like now, like two minutes ago. <gasps> it's not a building, it's a stupa. They're religious like structure. A lot of things usually are like buried inside of it. Can I cross the road please? Please? It's raining! Oh. I'll give you guys a better view of it when we cross the road. There's many of those around Chiang Mai. As we said, we're, I'm in the ancient part of the city right now. Okay. Can I sit here? Sit down? Yes, yes, please. Thank you. Okay, I'll show you Stupa and we'll sit down here by the nice little plants. There's Stupa. So there's many of those all around the city. Oh, yeah. Perfect, thank you. How are you doing? Uh, I don't know. 
Okay. Maybe eat, maybe drink, maybe both. <laughs> thank you. Okay. It's okay, it's okay, thank All you. Right. <laughs> the totem is in Egypt, different style, but yes, same idea. Very good spiritual, like, spiritual st structures. Which is always good. Motorbike with umbrella. Trust me, it's not the most convenient, but it does the trick. Not very safe either. Hi, Lishara, how are you? Yeah. And look what's behind us. Cute little like decoration. In the north, they love the colorful like tom tom material. We have a good view of the street at least. Yeah, it's a good thing we came here. It's pouring with rain again. <laughs> Have I tried any of the Muay Thai camps in Thailand? Uh, not the camps, but I've been to a school, yes. Uh, last year, uh, Gaspar and I were based in Bangkok, living in Bangkok, and uh, training Muay Thai training with one of the most reputable schools in Thailand. So I have a coconut smoothie. And oh, avocado smoothie. What? So we go for uh, yeah. It was really great. Um, I'm sure there's some clips of us because we we streamed our day our our lessons. So you guys could you guys know what it was like. Oh, there's a pure green smoothie as well. Hydroponic vegetable and lime. That sounds good. Oh my god, there's so many choices. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hydroponic green smoothie. That sounds intense. There is a big kiwi, uh, kiwi population in the fam, isn't there? I want the hydroponic green smoothie. <laughs> that sounds good. Holy crap! Well, if it was cocktail hour, there's some amazing cocktails here as well. Dang. Um, garden salad, Thai omelette rice. Should we just go for the smoothie for now? Mango, South South. What? Camping breakfast. That sounds fun. Mushroom gangster. There's a mushroom gangster. <laughs> what the hell is hydroponic mean, guys? Can you help me out with that? What does that mean? Like super well grown, super fast grown. The blue beef burger. What the heck is the blue? Is that like blue sauce? Tofu salad. Heck yeah. Get fat in Chiang Mai, guys. Ugh, it's so good. There's so much food everywhere. Good food everywhere. Probably blue cheese sauce, right? <gasps> Coxwain, thank you so much for the five months. We are the awkward, the awkward, the awkward. We are the awkward family. We're still the awkward, the awkward, the awkward. We're still the awkward family. Yee! Grown in water, not dirt. Hydroculture, method of growing plants in the soil instead of using mineral nutrient solution. Uh huh? Interesting. Oh my god, waffles. <gasps> Mango sticky rice. Oh, that sounds nice actually. Avocado honey with ice cream. Smoothie. Oh my god, there's just so much. Okay, green smoothie. Have the hydroponic green smoothie. <laughs> And oh my goodness. Should we get a snack? Too many choices. Okay. 
<laughs> Sorry. Ah, uh, can I order just for now the yeah. green smoothie? Okay. And I will look for more after. Okay. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. All good. We're good. How are you? Too many choices and they all look so good. You can't blame me for that. Right? And then there's this special menu here. It all looks like meat and stuff, so. But look at this cocktail, guys. This is the Mai Tai. Mai Tai is a, a, thai, a thai style cocktail. But they serve it in a pineapple. Whoa! Bacardi triple sec orange juice pineapple juice. Yeah, I was just in a cafe sideboard, but we are kind of playing uh, with, like, avoiding the rain, so it's just going to be one of those days, you know? Renu, thank you for gifting us up to Godfrey. Okay, I can turn up the volume now that we're out of the temple. Thank you so much. We are the awkward, the awkward, the awkward. We are the awkward family. Thank you. <gasps> Don't question my decisions, okay? There's a reason. Uh, I can't tell if it's still raining. I can't tell. <laughs> just one of those days, Cyborg, where it's kind of raining on and off all day, so we're just going to have to do our best. Which probably means there's going to be a lot of sitting down and a lot of chit-chatting and doing our best to explore. So, this, I don't know if you can see him. This girl is using a plastic chair to cover her and her, the driver from the rain. This is shit you see in Thailand, I'm telling you. No lightning, no, just a lot of rain. Yeah, you see a lot of monks at Chiang Mai. As I said, it's uh, one of those places where you see ancient ruins and temples. <laughs> Only in Southeast Asia. Do you, yes, we use the live use solo, yes, of course. I don't know, I'm gonna see what kind of view you guys have but we see the ancient stupa there we came from the temple that was just down the road there and I'm hoping to go to my most favorite one which is down that way which is a couple of minutes walk but we'll have our green smoothie first and then we'll see from there I also have to charge up my phone so what 11 minutes that doesn't why is it 11 minutes now, suddenly? Was I going the wrong direction? I would've. Yeah, I was going the wrong. Oh, no, no, no. I can go that way. Okay, we can try that next time. We have similar tuk-tuks in Budapest, like in Thailand, just the color of them are white. Yeah, I think nowadays in a lot of like major cities that have a lot of tourism, Jay, um, you have the tuk-tuk style like, but they're not diesel like these ones, they're probably like electric or whatever. But you see them in Paris as well, and like they're for like tours and things, right? Yeah. Especially during the summertime. Yesterday. Uh, all good, all good, Lashara. Always happy here. 
always happy. Just now, the battle for today is to do our best to like explore as much as we can, but with you know staying out of the rain. So that's for me. It's a little annoying, especially because it's our first day. Um, I wanted to do a lot of wandering and stuff, but we might have to end up ducking into cafes more often than I was hoping to, but whatever. Ian, thank you for your bits. Ian, good pants. Oh, thank um, you. Wow. That looks good. Thank you. You on now? I'm still looking. Okay, yeah. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. Okay, thank you, Auntie. Wow, look at that smoothie. Hold up. So there's mint leaf, like slightly crushed ice, like smoothie in there. That is so green. Whoa, that's very green. It tastes like green. It tastes green. <laughs> it tastes green, guys. If this doesn't give you a boost of energy, then I don't know what will. It's very limey, like lemony. just um, expecting it to be, I don't know what I was expecting it to be, I know it's good. Mm. The taste was that it was sour and I don't think I was expecting it to be that sour. But I think it's because it has lime in it as well. Mm, yeah. Super limey. because it was too healthy. I think there's a Mai Tai session upstairs. Yeah. Let's new that gym just across the street. I think it used to be a coffee place. Or it might be wrong, actually. What about durian tomorrow, Ian? house 
Yeah, yeah exactly. Free. Mmm. <laughs> the shara, that's so exciting. Oh. Hey, pink hearts. Oh, <laughs> It's super hydroponic green juice and it's really sour because there's like a lot of lime in it. Well, in Korea, to be fair, in America, cheese is just cheese, right? Craft cheese. Uh, ha, thank you. Ha, ha, thank yeah. you. Going all out. It's too expensive. I've never even touched one before I may die. God. Good luck. Good luck. Scarlett, how are you today? Welcome to Chiang Mai, Thailand. The most amazing city in the north of Thailand. I was just saying it was amazing to meet everyone, be a part of it, knowing that this was my work was just insane because it felt so rewarding. That's so great. Lashar, I'm so proud of you. That's so cool. What's Irish cheese, Wolf? Hi Chum Chum, how's it going? Just kind of keeping an eye out on the green. I'm just gonna go with the green just because that will fill me up. It's quite a lot. Ew, gross pink hearts. Where am I? I'm in Chiang Mai, Thailand. Pizza. Okay, so. Let me check the weather forecast for later. Oh my god. Oh. No joke today guys, 90 and 100% chance of rain. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say that we are not going to be going to the night market tonight because it will be raining. So the night market will not be fun and probably a lot of stalls will be closed. Weather forecast in Thailand is never correct, no. But I was watching the Thai uh, weather um, government weather whatever, like the weather, you know what I'm saying, the official weather thing. Rain follows tea like a lost puppy. There's this um, storm and it's passing the north of Thailand. So we just have to kind of wait it out. Yeah. No, like, there's the official, like, Ministry of Weather or something. You know what I mean? So they've got the Ministry of Weather website. And I was watching it today, reading their forecast, watching the radar, seeing that there is a storm coming from the east uh, up passing uh, passing through Chiang Mai in the next couple of days so yeah don't worry I'm an expert weather researcher I don't rely on just one single source for my information do I have doys to tap in my plan sure um We'll see what we can do. How many days we have here? Five days? So yeah, we'll make that one day. Uh, there's so much to do here, guys. Like, we'll do our best to do as much as we can, especially if there is rain in the forecast, so. A hydroponic store. <laughs> but anyway, today is just day one, guys, so we'll be all right. And uh, Joey and Haremi are arriving in a couple of days, so I also want to show them around, maybe give them a little bit of my secret places here, less touristy attractions. Uh, you see less tourists than regular, I guess it depends on where you are, Holy Sweeney. Um, August. It's still high season. I don't know. I don't know. I'm 
working on Hogwarts now. Just look it up, said Chiang Mai will have rain at 7, yeah, 100% at 7 p.m. So, we're gonna eat, we're gonna, we're gonna eat inside a restaurant place tonight rather than at the uh, market, unfortunately. Because that was the plan, but if it's raining, you know, night markets are not great under the rain. And a lot of stalls close down during the rain, so. Yeah, I mean, that's why I do. I look at the sky, I look at the official website, I look at different sources to kind of predict during the day what I should expect from the weather. How is August high season? What? Oh, oh my gosh. Scoopty, scoopty, scoopty whoop. Oh zero um, um zero oh generously <laughs> handed you nine euros and ninety five cents. Buy another drink on me. Oh my ha. god. Ah, thank you so much. Jump jump. Thank you. Thanks so much. Thank you so much. Well, I have a feeling that we're gonna have to run into another cafe later on the day to avoid the rain again. So thank you so much. The next drink will be on you. <laughs> thank you. Uh, it depends, Holy Sweeney, and honestly, like, these days, Thailand is full of tourists all year round. So, it just really depends on what, like, source you're reading. <laughs> yeah, you know, and, well, considering the live view is out in the open, and it doesn't like any sort of water, so... Yeah, you probably did hear wrong because, like, the thing is, when you hear things about Thailand, like when high season is, or when rainy season is, or when monsoon is, just disregard. Because every time you speak to someone, the information will be new <laughs> and different. So if you listen to every person you speak to about Thailand's weather or high season, basically, it's all the time. So, yeah. <laughs> mm. You're looking online. Well, you have to also remember that Thailand's a big country, so there will be some, like, high season in certain parts of Thailand might be high season, and other parts it'll be at a different time. You see what I mean? And the thing is, Thailand is an internationally, like, popular tourist destination. So high season, what I mean is high season is basically all year round now because it's so popular that you'll see tourists all year round and it's crowded all year round. And you know, if you're, if you're in the south on the beaches, uh, people are gonna escape for Christmas and go to the beaches. Um, then you've got like the Israeli Israeli tourists come during their Israeli holidays, which is a different time than in the West. And you've got the Westerners coming for summertime. Then you've got the East Europeans coming for Christmas. And you've got, you know what I mean? Then you've got the year-round backpackers. Like the, it's always crowded in Thailand, and it's always raining in Thailand. It just depends on how much. <laughs> you know what I mean? So. I think like I think what I'm trying to say is like don't rely on online sources to try and plan what time of year is best for you to travel to Thailand. The best time of year to travel to Thailand is the time that you are available and the time that you can make time and afford to travel there. Doesn't matter other than that. You see what I mean? What's going on in the seven ma- what? Marry me and we'll get this married seven times gold going. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. So, really, don't rely on online. Just go when you can, really. Definitely going shoulder season. What's the shirt? <laughs> shoulder season. What are you saying? So 
Weather up here. This time of year, the weather up north is very nice. 